floating anchor so that I can change the height of the anchor set on an escalator to a uh, crotch on a white oak above us and I'm not life support or anything so I'm not going up the tree we're just doing some measurements first thing I've got to do is see how much I weigh stay off the ground and I can't touch the enforcer in my hang or the tree how much weight are we showing now Okay, and that just seems really obvious, but there's we don't want to overlook the obvious. And now, with the angle of this tree and stuff, I think I've got it where I'm I'm really hanging pretty well right underneath that anchor. So, what I'm trying to do is measure progress capture of force as it goes through various friction devices. Right now I have a steel carabiner, not very efficient when it comes to transferring force. The uh, enforcer is over here measuring. Um, it'll measure the force there and then it's gonna give a readout over here on the phone and Judy will call out those numbers and I'll publish those. So what I'm gonna do now is just put my weight on it softly apply weight and we'll see what that goes up to and Judy will tell us all right what is that saying now Judy maximum was 127 and what is it showing right now 130 it's showing about 108 116 116 all right I'm gonna bounce on it real hard and see how high I can get it okay, okay. ready Did it, what was the max now? 260. 260, and what is it showing right now? About 130 ish. 130 ish. All right, one more time. All right, coming on gently. What is that? Max 122. And what is it? What is the reading? Around 100, 115. Okay, I'm gonna jump. What did I get it up to? You got it up to 267, and Two, you're at about 160 now. And 160 now. Let me jump one more time. What did I get it up to? You got it up to 286, and you're at one, between 160 and 170. So it always it keeps coming back to about 160 on this, right? Yes. All right, let me bring that down. This okay. is what I would consider a very efficient pulley. It's a CMI, I think it's a two inch sheave. We'll send that up the floating anchor to get it high enough that I can stand on it. So that goes up. All right. I'm going to come on this ever so gently. All right. What do we have? The max is 195 and it's hanging around 170, 180 right now. 180. Even gently, I'm fluctuating 15 pounds. All right. So about 190, you said? Right, what is it now? The max is 195. 195, what is it now? About 180. 180, all right, I'm gonna balance and see how much force I can get to go through that. You ready? The max was 419. 419. And now you're back to about 180, 190. All right, which is about where we were again when I started. Yes. All right, a couple more bounces. All right. Okay. The max is at 419 and you're uh, right at 180, 195. 180, 195. If it was 100% efficient, I'd be at 200. And once I've done all my bouncing, what I guess I'm saying is 
even after all that balancing, you've settled everything back down, it goes back to the efficiency of the friction point. That's interesting. All right, so let me bring this down. All right, this is a um, DMM revolver. Again, I'll step gently on here. All right, gently. What's the weight? 120 ish. 115 or 120 for the revolver. Max is 124. All right, I'm going to bounce hard. What did I get that up to? You got it at the 330. 330. Uh -huh. And right now you're at 155. 155. All right. Let's bring that down. Replace it with something else. Let's try this camp pulley. All right. Up with the camp. All right, I'll step on it gently again. See what we get. Coming on. What have I got? Max is 182 and you're around 175, 180. 182 and I'm about 180. What? what? Okay, so about 180 right now. All right, I'll bounce on it. What'd I get? The max was 382, and you're right at about 190. 382, and I'm 190. Not too much more than what it started out at, but pretty efficient pulley, okay? All right, send that up. All right, here we go. This is the Rock Exotica 1.1 Omni Block. Coming on it gently. What are we at? Max is 172 and it's right at 160 average. 160 or so. All right, let me start bouncing. What did I get up to? I got up to 373 and you're right at 190. All right, so back to about 190. And it's holding steady right now at about 190? Uh, yes. All right, gentle bounces. There is no way I can get it to stay on the other side of 200, is there? No. What is it now? About 185, 190. Yep. So in spite of putting a bunch of load on the other side of 200, you can't get it to stay on the other side of 200. It'll always come back. All right, that's coming down. All right, this is a regular pinto pulley. Send that up. All right, zero that, and the rest see what the pinto pulley does. What am I what am I at right now? Max 140 and it's somewhere between 125 and 130. 125 and 130? That's lower than I thought for Pinto. Alright. And it's still hanging at about 130? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna bounce. Okay, you got it at the 
125 ish. Okay. This is a pseudo anchor, but it'll give me a load test. And escalator is a very static climbing line. It goes up and it goes through a caterpillar type cambium saver. So what are we showing now? Did we zero that? Okay. So yeah. that's zeroed. Again, I know I weigh 200, so one side has 200. I'll step down gently and see what the enforcer reads. What has it got? Maximum 100. 100. And it's holding at about 110, 115. Okay, so 100 on this side and 200 on the other side. Now it's showing a maximum of 119. 119. All right, I'm going to bounce. What did that go up to? It went up to 232, and now it's falling at about 140. 232. I got to do another hard bounce. This <clears throat> Not hurting my legs. What did that get up to? 232, and what is it now? It's, it's not showing right now. Oh, crap. Nine. Let me go around a little bit. There, oh, here we go. Maximum 232, and it's about 140. 140 right now. All right, so 140 tells you what's on there after my bounces. 200 plus 140, there's 340 at that crotch. So now let's take let's take that cambium saver out. This is up and over a crotch in a white oak. That's probably about eight or ten inches across that crotch. I'm gonna stand on my line. We're at zero. I'll stand on the line. No cambium saver. Put my weight on it gently. What do we have? Maximum is 72 and you're holding about between, well, about 65 to 70. 65 to 70 and max was 72. Yes. So, all right, I'm gonna bounce hard. Ready? What was my max? Max 160 and you're holding at about 145. 160 max and I'm holding at 145 about the same as it was with the cambium saver huh because the same cambium saver was 140 if I remember right so again that puts about 340 at that anchor I don't need another one to measure me All right, so what I've shown to myself is that when you establish friction at a support point, there really isn't progress capture. There isn't a hundred percent going back to, in other words, the friction, there is a dynamic, there's a dynamic to the friction, but there's also a static to the friction that doesn't let everything balance out the way you might think it does. Um, you know, it, it, it takes a little bit of force to work through the friction, which makes sense, but it doesn't capture all of that force and multiply it like uh, a pulley would do. There's always whatever efficiency is in a pulley or in a in a crotch or whatever that point is whatever friction is there is a minus sign in the equation of the mechanical advantage it doesn't ever add you can't you can't 
push past the friction end up with a positive on top of the mechanical advantage whatever that is so to me that's kind of interesting and it it uh, just kind of shows what what we're thinking as far as uh, setting up an anchor and stress testing an anchor and some of this information is interesting when it comes to um, how much force is put at the anchor now you could try it with varying degrees of sizes of branch and slippery barks and things like that but I don't know that I'd find a lot more other than there's variables but we know there's variables but I'm not sure that I would find a lot more information than what we've just kind of discovered today. Hmm. What do you think? Cut. 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 Judy says cut. I cut. Cut. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Judy. Cut. <laughs> you know that's going in the video, right? Yes. Cut. cut. <laughs> Is that how they do it in Hollywood? You know that little thing they have? I always thought it was one of those little signs that did this. No, I had the thing that popped down. Cut! Okay, I take your word for it. <laughs> I'm not from Hollywood. All right, you want to turn yours on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does it look like mine's on? Is the light flashing? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll make sure that I have this part in the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs>